let's balance these reactions. And I've, uh, you're going to have a number of them to do, but we'll start with this first one and see how far we get. So this first one uh, asks, what is the coefficient or number for H3PO4 when the following reaction is balanced with the lowest possible whole numbers? So, and I've got my lines in front of them, which is where I like to put my coefficients. And for this one, so according to the guidelines I do in my class, you want to put a one in front of the most complex formula. And the most complex formula is going to be the one with the most atoms. So I have, th uh, sorry, the most kinds of atoms. I have three kinds of atoms and three kinds of atoms. So, uh, and then the most number of atoms. And again, we have a tie here. And what I would suggest to you, let's see. So the other thing I recognize about this is this is a double replacement reaction. Uh, I have, uh, which it's, and the kind is acid base. So another guideline I have for double replacement reactions is that you oftentimes want to think of them as balancing um, the ions. Uh, so for example, here we have K plus and phosphate, so that'd be the potassium ion and the phosphate ion. And we can, uh, the K plus is by itself anyway, but the phosphate ion, so it has the P and the O's by itself. And in particular, because there's two things with O's in them, oxygens, uh, we may want to balance the ions themselves. And so here's what I mean by that. So uh, we could choose either the phosphoric acid here or the potassium phosphate as our most complex. Just for fun, we'll choose the product side because we haven't done that before. Uh, then that means that we have uh, three potassiums and therefore we're going to need, because uh, we're going to start balancing our atoms as we go across. Uh, we have three potassiums, so that means we need three potassiums right there. And technically we have three potassium ions, but as far as uh, balancing atoms, we'll just put K there. Actually, either way works. And then we're going to come to balancing phosphorus. Now in phosphorus, uh, I am going to balance it as a phosphate ion and see what happens. So there is one phosphate ion here. So I'm going to put one PO4, three minus. And that means I need a one over here. So I have one PO4, three minus so far. And uh, so now looking at the other atoms or ions in here, I also have three H's, which we can also call three H pluses. And I have three OH minuses, or just OH. Um, and again, so these, I think it's most helpful to balance them uh, together. And what I see here, if you remember from acid-base reactions and the net ionic equations that we uh, did in the lecture outline, and we will do more of in the homework, this is really going to be three waters, three H pluses plus three OH minuses. Those are going to be three waters. And uh, if you look at it, you can also put it together as just three H's and three O's and three more H's. So the formulas still work even if you don't think about them as ions. Um, but sometimes it's a little easier. Maybe it's a little harder. I don't know. Uh, but that means we need a three right here. And that's going to be, uh, well, <laughs> uh, six more H's. Let's see this. It could be six H pluses and, oh, sorry, three H pluses and three OH minuses since you just put them together. Or it could be six H's and three O's depending upon how you do it, but it'll still balance there. That's the first one, and that's a pretty good example of how you're going to balance things. Um, let's see what other ones we have from my question. Oops, it's on the back. In a similar example, let's go ahead and do this one. Here, we have a clear choice for the one that's most complicated. 
and uh, that's going to be uh, three magnesiums or three magnesium ions and two phosphates. Nope, that's three minus there for phosphate. Then we're going to do, uh, we're going to need three of these here for three magnesium ions as well. And two, we have two phosphates, so we're going to need two over here. And that leaves us with three times two, that's six hydroxides. And two times three, that's six H pluses and two phosphates. And so just like we did in the last example, we are going to need six waters to balance everything else. Let's stick with those two and uh, give you attempts on the other ones. And if you have any questions, you can always ask.